Okay, yeah, this video today is about uh, <coughs> Metal Building number 31 How to enter a conta with Souls 3 Match Mate Mate with Windows 10 <coughs> EFI The next video will be Metal Building number 32 How to do try do try boot so straight and uh, now now with the windows 10 so the the motor boot number 30 was the uh, installation of uh, solos three budget so a new installation of, of solos three mate match mate so you just have to do before you start installation the first thing you have to do is open the uh, open departed you have to create one partition I'm saving the video to this USB flash drive there to be partition number on my book here I have is going to be SDA 34 that's how I have um, so I keep track of the partition here. So it's going to be number 34. So what you just have to do is on the unlocated space, make sure it say SDA. If you're installing it, if you're doing the installation on the SDA, right click, select new. Then it's going to be 10 gigabyte. So 10 to 40, 10 gigabyte. Then you name it Solus Mate. Solus Mate. Solus does not use Grub. Use the System D uh, Boot Manager. So I will show uh, on the last video that I done I show how to boot uh, the bootloader that I'm using is from Bunsen Labs GNU slash Linux and uh, to get to the to Windows and to to Solus so I, I boot into Windows from Windows I get to the uh, UFI firmware settings from there uh, I, uh, there is a entry called uh, system D boot you click on that it gets you to the to the solid OS that way I can boot using the the grub GNU grub from Bunsen Labs giving us the option to boot all the GNU slash Linux distribution plus Windows and from Windows I can get to the to Solus. I hope in the future Solus use the GNU Grub, make it easier to multi-boot. But uh, I don't think this is gonna happen anytime soon. 
Because I saw in the forum, I saw in the GitHub, they don't plan to use uh, Linux Group. So um, the easy way that I found to, to boot into it is to, if you multi-booting, if not multi-booting, it's fine just to have the, um, just to have solos. But if you multi-boot, you must, uh, you must have a, a boot manager to to control the to be able to select each OS. I'm planning to have up to 80 operating system on this notebook computer from Toshiba, one terabyte hard drive, and I uh, will swap to a, a two terabyte hard drive, and I will do 120. 21 operating system on one terabyte. So uh, right now uh, you can see the Ubuntu badge there. I have the ISO saved on the on the folder there in case if I need to with a new live USB, I have a backup there, so it's that to have everything in different, uh, um, I do have a backup of my ISOs on a standard hard drive, but now I'm using the partition to each partition of each OS, I'm saving the ISO, so in the case I need to create a new live USB, I have that on the on the OS. So I label each OS. So I'm gonna do this now when I fix this here. When you label file system what happens is on the on the When you label the file system on the on the on the file browser, it shows the, exactly the name that you put on the on the partition. So it's very easy to know which OS you're working with. As you can see, I have everything labeled there, uh, and from the part that you know exactly how much space left you have and I found out that the 10 gigabyte partition is good for each every OS except the Windows 10 and the DP DP requires at least 16 gigabyte of uh, hard drive space As you can see here, so I'm gonna close this. So it's gonna be partition number 34. So when I open the file browser here, it gives me see solace badge. 
So I'm planning to have 80 operating system installed. So the device here is going to be big. And uh, so now to start the installation, I'm going to minimize this. You just have to do is double click here. So all you have to do here, let's see, on the right, on the left, okay. What you have to do here is select the language here, click next, click next. I'm using uh, English keyboard, click next. Let me use this time zone here, click next. The installation is very quick because it uh, takes. I should have a, a watch here. Let's see. If you have 36, it's gonna take maybe 20 minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes. I should have uh, to pay attention to this all time. But first, So always you're gonna select assign mount point to partition or have previously created. This most already exists prior to launch the installer. If you modify them, please restart the installer. So I already have the installer. Like I said, it's going to be number SDA34. So you just have to do look for SDA34 here. Then on the assign space here, you click here, see the mount point here. Then you have to do now, just have to do is click next. So this is Ubuntu Mate. Username I want to Mate. Click add, add the user here, then make sure it is right, click next, then click stall, click ok here, I will record the whole installation because it's quick.
So, like I said, the installation is very quick. So, 36, 46 now, it's less than 20 minutes. Okay, so it's done. That's it. That's it. So, I didn't pay attention to the time, but the next installation that I'm gonna do, Ubuntu uh, Solus Gnome, Gnome, Solus Gnome. I will pay attention to the time when I start. So, when I double click on the, when I click on the departed, I will see, I will pay attention to the time there. So anyway, the time zone is not the time right. The time zone that I'm using. So it's, right now it's, a, it's only nine o'clock, nine thirty, ten o'clock, I believe. So um, I, I will. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share. Questions leave in the comments below. So if you like this video, give a like. Inscreva-se. Compartilhe nas redes sociais e deixe os comentários abaixo. E a, no sininho ali, a, 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 clica no sininho para receber atualizações. Como eu disse, vai ter 80 sistemas operacionais instalados nesse HD de 1 terabyte e a, eu farei esse mesmo guide em português e também farei um guide. Esse guide é, é em UFI, mas eu farei também em Legacy BIOS. Em Legacy BIOS, vou fazer, vou pegar um, um outro hard drive de 2 terabytes e, e colocarei 121 sistemas operacionais nele, incluindo Windows e all the GNU slash Linux distribution. Se você gostou desse vídeo, I say that already. So I'll, I'm going to start to. Already have another flash drive here. That's the GNOME. That's the Solus GNOME 3. I will do the installation now. I'm going to restart the. I will do the installation. The next. The next installation will be. Uh, Do. Try a conta boot. Solus Gnome 3. So if you like this video, you know what to do. So I'll see you in the next video.